Hi Aquarius, Jennifer Angel, I'm back. Well, sort of, I've got bronchitis, so I didn't get to do last week's uh, reports, but I want to cover the eclipse and then we'll go straight into next week, week February the 5th, okay? Um, okay, so the lunar eclipse in January the 31st, and it's a total eclipse, so um, it's pretty intense. It's also a super moon, so it's got a stronger gravitational pull than usual, and it's a blue moon because it's the second moon in the full moon in the month. So for a lunar eclipse, it's a full moon, which means the moon and the sun are opposite. And for you, Aquarius, the sun is in your sign, and right opposite in your relationship area is the moon. So it's a lunar eclipse in Leo at 11 degrees. So you want to have a look up at your chart to see where Leo is, um, what house it's in, in your chart and what degree it's in. So it's great to sort of have that horoscope chart on hand. There's lots of sites if you don't have it. Um, if you, you know, have a reading with an astrologer um, or myself, then, uh, you know, it can supply it to you. I do the wheels uh, manually, so um, it's not as easy for me to do them for free. But there's lots of e there's lots of sites that have automatic services for the horoscope wheel, and you put your information in, and and you know you get your wheel, and then you can print it out. And so that's a great thing to have. Um, all right, so also this so it's all about relationships for you this week okay so um with this moon with the lunar lunar eclipse a lunar eclipse the full moon energy brings things to a head so it likes to close things off so it gives you an opportunity to shut the door on anything that's not really working uh, anything person situation and to be able to move forward Forward. But once you do that with an eclipse, it's generally final, okay? There's no going back. So you want to sort of choose carefully that that's what you want. And sometimes it's taken out of your hands anyway. Um, so, you know, just be aware of, you know, certain things that are happening and choices and decisions that you may um, have to make during this time. Now in your sign, of course Venus is in your sign, so it's all about love and money. Let's not forget Venus is the planet of money as well. And towards the end of next week, um, on week February the 5th, at the end of the week, on the weekend, the 10th and the 11th, Venus will move out of your sign and into your money zone. Okay, so this is great for attracting, also spending money. So, you know, if you're a bit of an impulse spender, you want to put yourself on a budget, you know. You want to make sure there's more coming in than going out. Easier said than done sometimes, I know. Um, and then this week, Mercury, the communication planet, is moving into your side. So there's lots of discussion happening um, there's lots around your career as well during this time. It's not just about relationships, but um, next uh, next week at the start of the week, we've got Venus is going to be in a sextile with Uranus, your uh, ruling planet, and that's going to bring up some discussions that perhaps you're not quite ready to have. Okay, so. You may have to think on your feet a little bit. And then towards the end of the week, the sun in your sign will um, square Jupiter in your career zone. So a, a decision you make or something that's going on around your work, business or career, you want to double check the details. It doesn't mean to say that it's not going to be great, but if somebody is prone to exaggeration, then certainly you want to take that into account, okay? All right, so uh, I hope that something advantageous happens for you this week. And uh, I hope you have a good week and love, luck and blessings to you. We'll see you next week. Bye for now.